Here's how it looks for Portugal. Rui Patricio begins in goal. Joao Cancelo starts with Rafael Guerrero as fullbacks. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Bruno Fernandes in central midfield. And the focal point in attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. And now they get the ball rolling. Giovanni Lo Celso. Paredes. And Messi carries it forward. What's he going to do from this position? And a good take under duress there. Well, just looking at everything in Lionel Messi's impressive repertoire, Stuart, it is considerable. What do you think will be especially relevant this time around? Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player, but it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat. And when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores. Paredes. And getting in there to intercept. Plenty of support here. Ronaldo. On to Bruno Fernandes. And the flag does go up. Must have been close. Rodrigo de Paul. We're getting the ball forward. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Not the best challenge. Free kick. Fed over towards the back post. An inability to keep hold of the ball there. Di Maria. And making the run to the inside. Body on the line. Diogo Jota. This looks promising. Guerrero back to Jota and Portugal will get the throw in chance to play it in and making the move to the inside and still they wait for the chance Ronaldo Otamendi getting in the way Bruno Fernandes that's a very impressive piece of defending Messi is with Paredes oh that's an interesting pass a gift for any goalkeeper Marcos Acuna firing it towards goal well, the goalkeeper managed to make the save without much difficulty in the end. Well, this has to get better because as those stats confirm, the attack in play from both sides just hasn't been good enough. It's all been a little bit too cautious so far. Giving it a try. Brilliant save. Well, there it is. I'm not sure what all the fuss was about. It wasn't even close in the end.
Short corner taken. Another corner conceded. What can they do with this one? Favouring the short one. Martinez! Brilliantly blocked. Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. Di Maria. And the referee has given it. It will be a penalty. Can they forge ahead? Well, he's avoided a booking, but the complaints continue. And I can understand why. I think it's a poor foul. It should be a yellow card for me. This to open the scoring here. The keeper going in the right direction and saving it. And taken short. Well, another corner. Can they take advantage of this one? <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately. And intercepted there. De Paul. Plenty of support here. Well, I don't think that effort remotely qualifies as respectable. And the reason it's off target, because the technique was really poor on that occasion. That's not a good effort. The first half here comes to an end. Well, the man at the hub of all things creative is usually Lionel Messi, but has that been the case in this game, Stuart? Well, he struggled to have any real impact on the game. I think if they are to kick on in the second half, it's key that he sees a bit more of the ball, and hopefully with that, he can start to put that back line under a bit more pressure. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Space on the flank. Takes the shot! Well, goodness me, into the goalkeeper's grateful grasp. Error by the keeper, might give them a chance. And a long way out. Able to get a body in the way. Well, he could give it away. Well, mopping up defensively. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come onto them. Misfiring completely. Yeah, he's gone for power, but the contact was never right. It's a poor effort, really. Well, there you have it. They haven't been good enough going forward. They've created very little so far. They need to play with much more urgency. And Portugal struggling to keep the ball. Paredes. Lo Celso. Into the advanced position. Firing it towards goal. Determined block. Silva. It's a promising move from Portugal. 
Can they forge ahead? They do. And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Well, as you can see, he's given far too much space, but he still had some work to do, and I think that's a very tidy finish. It was never in doubt. So, underway again here. One nil to score. Messi. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Messi. Well, he would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. Into the final 20 minutes. Di Maria. Lo Celso. And teammates around him. Determined defending. Messi. Targets available. Cross comes in. Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. Time for a change then. And the short option preferred. Needs to clear it away. Bernardo Silva. Mali prevented it from going over the line. Sloppy there, Bernardo Silva. Now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. The tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. And we have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Good technique displayed. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Oh, that's a really good run. Martinez! Oh, goodness me, off the post. Well, if they hold on to this, the keeper will be thanking the frame of his goal. Not long left now. Yes, every team needs a slice of luck from time to time. It's all about how you use that slice of luck to your advantage. Ronaldo. Oh, great defending. Paredes. And the referee says that will do it. It is a win for Portugal, just what they were hoping for. Stuart, your overall assessment. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserved the result in the end. Well, it truly was a fantastic performance from Bernardo Silva. Stuart, I wonder what in particular caught your eye? Well, he gave them a really hard time, didn't he? His speed of thought was excellent, and he took the winning goal so well. He was brilliant today. Giving it.